Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel. I am here with a brand new Dollar Tree haul. There are so many exciting things coming out to the Dollar Tree lately. I don't know, I'm not complaining, but it's just amazing how you can just go to so many different stores and they all have different things. But that's part of the thrill of the chase, right? It's the hunt of the things you want to find. At least it is for me. It's the thrill of the chase. All right, brand new Dollar Tree haul. Every item is $1.25. There is nothing over $1.25. No plus stores in my area. Just want to make everyone aware of that. These items came from Poughkeepsie and Kingston. And that's in the Hudson Valley if you're familiar with the area. All right, brand new Dollar Tree haul. So many exciting finds. All right, let's jump in. Um, let's go down like hair things and stuff like that. A teaser brush. When is the last time you saw one of these? I was like, oh my God, I had one of these back in the 80s. Um, with my hair, it was always kind of like, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> I should get some pictures out. Uh, I was definitely, well, I still am an 80s girl, always will be. Um, but yeah, I rocked, I was a rocker girl. I still am. Um, you know, you get rock and roll in my car. If you're riding with me, that's the way it goes. All right, so this is a teaser brush. Super cute. They had purple, pink, um, the minty green that I'm always referring to. So many fun colors. Um, it's that springtime of the year when everything just gets all pastel -y. My word for it, pastel -y. These were some new barrettes. And it's funny because there's no brand name or anything on them. On the backing here, you've just got the Made in China stamp. But yeah, so I was like, okay. But they're so pretty. So this one, you're going to get three clips and they're all butterflies. How cute are those? So if you're just pulling your hair back a little bit or, you know, this is from Dollar Tree. I just thought they were adorable and perfect for this time of the year going into spring at some point. We're still getting a little ahead of ourselves. I should say I am. You get a nice day and you just want to pounce, you know. The next clip I saw, same company, no, you know, no name brand or anything. This one's a little bit bigger, but let me bring it in because I want you to see the detail of this butterfly. It is so pretty. And you can actually see through the butterfly right there. Last but not least, and this one's a little bit bigger. So here was the one I just showed you. And now you can see how big it is, this one against that one. Look at how pretty this is. And it's got like little pearl beads on here. Don't mind my nails here. I have an appointment tonight. My nail girl has been out of the country, so I've been waiting for her to get back. This is adorable. Love it, love it, love it. All right, that's it for pretty much barrettes and stuff like that. Picked myself up another new toothbrush. Uh, this is a close-up toothbrush. I just thought it was so pretty with all the pink and it had all these little nubby things on there. I thought it was cool. So had to grab one of those. Also saw this in the hair kind of aisle transitioning from beauty into like makeup and stuff. These are, well, it's a makeup blender. It's purple, but it's inside of this little plastic Easter egg, which I thought was so fun. You just pop it open like this, and then there's your blender, or you can put a little bit of candy in there if you want. It also comes with this little rubber hanger that's got like a heart on it right there. So that's kind of fun. Hang it on an Easter tree or something. All right, let's move over into beauty and makeup where we're kind of transitioning that way. Over in the makeup section, they had these in two places. They had an end cap they were doing with all kinds of nail polishes, but they had these back, and it's the four-piece set by Sally and Chic. You just pop a couple batteries. Actually, it's one AA battery that you put in the bottom here. You open it up, and it's got these little bits, and this really does work. So if you're maintaining your own nails at home or you need to maintain them before you go to the salon, if you crack one or something, these actually work really well. Um, mine... First one probably lasted me about two years and um, it would probably still keep going, but I just decided I wanted a new set. All right. Um, beauty, beauty, beauty. All right. I can't reach my beauty stuff back there, but so let's go somewhere else real quick. I needed some toothpicks, something for the household, a 500 count pack. So I just grabbed one of those over in households. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I'm so sorry. Let me just grab a tissue. I don't mean to be rude, but if I sneeze, I don't want to sneeze all over all of you. That would be kind of rude, wouldn't it? All right. I needed some staples because I bought a new stapler from Dollar Tree. And this, you get 5,000 staples in there. I said, well, those will last me a little while. They're made in the USA. 
happy to see that. All right, this next thing I found on a roundabout thing by the checkouts. These are um, folding sunglasses, which I thought, well, these are kind of neat. And you get a folding case. So here is the case. Let's open this up and check it out. A case like this, you could put anything in it. Lipstick, money, medication, if you have medication. When you open it up, there's the inside of the case. How cute is that, right? But then we have these foldable sunglasses that look like this. They had black, brown. I want to say there was like a limeish green color. So here are the sunglasses that end up going into this case and then boom. So let's check out these sunglasses. I thought this was kind of different. All right. So you're going to open them like this and then they fold out again and then again and then again and again. So they kind of look like Blues Brothers glasses. Let me see if I can, because I have my headband on, it's hard to get my glasses through, but let's see. Hey, I could be on Blues Brothers, no problem. Love that, love that movie. So these are nice and actually, wow. All right, so in an emergency or what if you're out and about, you lose your sunglasses. You know how many pairs of sunglasses that are in the Pacific Ocean? the Atlantic Ocean, all over for me. How fun is that? Just something, you know, quick and easy to pack. I know I have a specific pair of sunglasses that are like my favorite, and I never want to lose them. And of course, you always end up losing a pair like that, but super simple for $250, you can't beat it. All right, let's jump into, I'm kind of hopping all over here, and I don't mean to be rude, I just have stuff all over here. All right. Health Beauty Vitamin Department, Vicks brand name, Children's Botanicals, Daily Immune Support and Antioxidant Action. Wow, I got through all that. You get 36 gummies. It's for ages four and up. Zinc, goji berry, I don't even know how to say that word, and elderberry. I thought, okay, but I could just, you know, take extra because I'm a grown up. And I thought, you know what? I'll give it a shot. I've been kind of a little bit under the weather off and on, but I've had a lot of stuff going on. So, and the weather's been so crazy. 61 day, and what's the next day? You know, like 22. All right, moving on, sweets and treats. Cheryl, if you're watching, they had the Albendi. I know I'm saying that wrong again. Oh my gosh. Anyways, they're made in the USA. They're those gummy beers. These are the 3.5 ounces. They had these back again which are the regular gummies. But then they had the sour, it says starts sour, stays sour, and it's a 3.5 ounce bag. So these are sour gummies. I hadn't seen those before. They also had, whoop, whoop, Tootsies, Fritzies. And these are watermelon candy chews. They're just like Tootsie Rolls, but they're in the flavor of watermelon they always get these out around easter time these are yummy they're just like tootsie rolls but they're watermelon flavor they also had um harbo new berry clouds and these are so cute they're the gummy candies and i don't know how well this is going to show up on camera oh yeah they're pretty good look at they're in the shapes of clouds and you get different berry flavors Blueberry, wild berry, and strawberry. So cute to go into an Easter basket, I thought. And it does say new up there. So not sure how long those have been out for. A couple more sweets and treats here. Oh, something in the food section besides candy. They had these family size, five servings, Hungry Jack cheesy scallop potatoes. Five ounce box. I grabbed myself a couple of them because I like scallop potatoes. I like pretty much any kind of potato, to be honest. But grab two boxes of that to fill up my cabinet with. So I thought that was a good buy and another brand name. Uh, two more candy sweets to share with all of you. And Coastal Bay is, I think, pretty much Dollar Tree's brand. I don't think I've ever really had too much Coastal Bay, but I saw these spice drops and I don't know, they just bring back memories, I guess. But these are, you know, out of... Chesapeake VA, which is Dollar Tree, but they're product of Mexico. So I thought I would give them a try. You know, candy comes from all over the place. If not, it's something fun to decorate cupcakes and cakes with. 
I always like to keep a little something around for decorating all the time because it's always on my brain. All right, the last little snack item here, and this is so perfect because Linda gave me a little jelly. It's actually, let me see if I can reach it. Linda gave me this for Valentine's Day, which are my jelly bellies, and I've just about mowed them all down. Well, look what I found at Dollar Tree. Jelly bellies! It's a 2.6 ounce package. This is perfect. I can take this and fill my container up with it. So I ended up getting myself two packs of those so I can keep my jelly machine right here on my desk. All right, that's enough for sweets and treats because I think I've just like blown you all out of the water with sweets and treats, like enough. Easter baskets are everywhere and there's so many to choose from besides characters, patterns, plastic, paper, so much fun. These I love, I think they're so cute and they're done in a pink, they're plastic. Shake your cottontail. How cute. It's kind of in a white. There you go. How cute is this to fill up for a friend for Easter? It's adorable. So I grabbed two of these because I do fill them up for some special peoples in my world. Actually, it's for two of the kids down the road. Um, the girls, I always, you know, do a basket for them. And maybe that's something I'll put on video. All right. Staying with I almost said Valentine's Day again. Stay with the Easter Bunny. I haven't seen this pattern of dish towel before, um, but that's just me. I love these towels for visual, but for cleaning and stuff, they suck. Just my opinion. Very pretty, pretty pattern. And it says, spring is here. It's kind of cut off a little bit, but it says spring is here. Love that pretty, pretty mint green. Those are really cute towels. And then the daisies on the bottom. So you have it on the front and the back. So I grabbed a set of those. I didn't see, they were still putting out so much stuff. So I didn't see any of the mitts or anything like that yet. I'm not sure if there's stuff that matches. I assume so, but don't hold me to it. How cute are these bunny molds? And then I didn't realize, so when I got home, that there's a little girl bunny mode right there with her little bow. Actually, it's a little daisy, I think, and her eyelashes. And then the other side has the little boy bunnies. So I'm going to try to do something with this. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, and I want to just like test it out before I show all of you. But I had been looking for that and I was glad I found it. So um, uh, yeah, probably a DIY in the works there. All right, let's move over to a few things in the kids section, shall we? Or should I say my favorite section or one of my favorite sections? All right, they had these, which I hadn't seen before. These are Barbie Chelsea, or Ch yeah, Chelsea. Um, these are Mattel, and it's got this like little backpack thing, and then these cute little toys. I hadn't seen that before, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna grab one of those for an Easter basket. They also had this one that was in purple. So here's the two different ones I got. I thought those were pretty cool. So I'm gonna add those to someone's Easter basket. And I can't really say who's because they watch this channel. <laughs> All right, let's go over. Well, there I dropped something. So I've completed half of my tasks. Now just to hit the camera. All right, My Little Pony. These I hadn't seen before. They're made by Hasbro and they come in this box. I found one, two, three, five different ones. We have, do we have a name on it? We do have names on the front. So the first one is Hitch Trailblazer. And then I'll open one up so you can see because these are like really big. Again, these are by Hasbro. We have Sunny Stars, Star Scout. We have Princess Petals. Princess Petals. We have Izzy Moonbow. Well, you know which one I'm going to open up and share with all of you. And last but not least, we have Zip Storm. I love these names. I would love to have a job making up names for like nail polishes and lipsticks and stuff like that. All right, so they come in this box. Let's see. All right. Trying to find a way to get into it. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Am I just getting old and I can't open packages anymore? OMG. Wow. All right. Here we go. Oh, you know why? Because they have it like all in here with hard cardboard and oi. All right. Well, at least you can say it's packaged darn well. My goodness. That's a lot of packaging going on. 
All right, I had no idea or I would have grabbed, well, wait, my scissors. Oop, scissors, hold on, hold on. At least they were close by. All right, that makes it easier. Oh my gosh, these are really big. Look at that. Look at her little unicorn -y on her head. Oh wow, those are adorable. And then she's got a little emblem right there, if you can see it. Those are big, no doubt. So one, two, three, four, five, I said I had. How adorable for an Easter basket, right? Okay, let's move on. I also came across some more adorables. But what I'm gonna do is save that for another video. Should I do that or should I open a couple? Okay, I'll open a couple. I heard someone say, no, you have to open them. So let's open a couple more. These are the Disney Dorables. There's 62 different ones you can collect. I found a boatload of them. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna get a couple more. I always shake mine down to the bottom because you never wanna cut into anything, okay? So let's see what we got here. You guys always get to see before me. And there it is. So let's see what we have. These, I think, are just the characters. There's nothing. Oh, yeah. There's the little thing that pops out for all the different ones you can get. If you haven't seen this before, there is all the different ones. Front and back. All right. What do we have? Did we get this guy? I don't remember, but that is, I think we did. That is one pissed off looking, is it a lizard? I think we got this guy. Um, Who is it? Who is it? It is Pascal. I think I do have Pascal. So Pascal will be going into the double bag. Let's open up another one. Doubles are good sometimes because sometimes you need more than one. But I do have a really large collection of doubles from all different blind bags. And um, every now and then, you know, I feed them out. All right, so here's the pamphlet. And what do we... It's the candle! And I should know this candle's name. But I don't off the top of my head. So I'm just going to open another one real quick. Here we go. 62 different ones that you can collect. These are bad. These are like addicting. They're bad. They're worth. They're just like lottery tickets. I tell you, scratch offs. At least for me. Where are you? Whoops. Oh my. I think I know who this is. Is this the Aladdin guy? Look at that. I know I didn't get that one. All right, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Adorables. I get so excited. These things. I'm telling you, <clears throat> a couple of these and a margarita, and I'm good to go. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. You got to have fun, right? We only go around this crazy world once. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, my, my. That kind of looks like me when I wake up in the morning. So here we go. I have no idea what this dude's name is, but this guy is absolutely hysterical. All right, I got one more that I'm going to share in this video anyways, because I do have a few more of these. Last adorable. Who do we got? Who do we got? I'm telling you, they're so addicting. You want to say like, okay, I'm only going to open like one or two. Now this one I think might be a double as well, but look at that's one of the kitty cats. I did get a couple kitty cats in my last one, so I'll have to check his face because that's how you tell the difference of the three different kitty cat ones. All right, everybody, so much more to share as always. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Got something to say? Put it down below. Until next time, <laughs> bye for now.